Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my long-awaited, highly requested makeup collection. I finally organized my makeup. It's been very disastrous for a very long time. I finally had my cousin over. She's great at organizing and I suck at organizing, so I needed that push to get my makeup where it is right now and it is finally there. It's not all the way there, I feel like, but I feel like no matter how long I work on it, I'll always wanna keep working on it. So I think that's just a personal thing, but I have everything organized. I can finally show you guys my makeup collection. I'm super excited. By the way, you guys, I have a ton of makeup. I have like a crazy amount of makeup that I wouldn't normally have if I wasn't a beauty vlogger. So companies send me tons of makeup all the time to review on my channel or use That's why I have a lot of makeup just in case you're wondering like, how was she getting all this makeup? That is why that is how this is my makeup collection slash organization Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep updated with my videos and hit that notification bell right there So you can be a part of the quad family. We're very strong this quad family of ours without further ado Let's get on with the so video. this is the door to my beauty slash filming room so you'll see some black messy cords over there that's just where I film but this is my makeup collection right here and this is just an overview of it right there just some Alex drawers and then these guys from the container store which I got the idea from Desi I saw her snap and she had like a bunch of them it was so gorgeous so I went to go and get some in different sizes and I'm just gonna start up here. A lot of these organizers are from Impressions Vanity, except for these guys from the container store, but like the lipstick holders and these guys right here and the beauty blender holder is from Impressions Vanity. And I guess I'll just start right in this section. So these are all my beauty blenders. And then back here, I have some from Pure. So yes, I just put fingerprints all over. All right, though. You guys saw it when it was clean. So I'll go ahead and start with these drawers right here. What I've done so far is I have all the new ColourPop lippies right here. Let me just get in there. Ooh, what the fall. We have to stand up on this chair. This is real life right now, you guys. So this was part of the peach collection right here. I try to keep the bottom of the lippies and tubes kind of facing outward so I can see which color I'm picking up. And then right here in the center, we have the new blotted lippies, and these are the ultra blotted lips right here. And then in this drawer, I have the Sigma Loose Shimmers, all the newest shades right here. And then this right here is from a Violet Boss. This is one of their new glitters called Kiki. So I have that right there so I can try that. And then this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette right here. And then in here, these are not new. I've had them in so many videos, but I actually don't have space for these in my concealer drawer. So I put them right over to the side on here. These over here are the new Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. They have new shades, which I think is really cool. This is Caffeine Fix. Free base, caffeine, these are all the new colors. And then they're bringing Sin back. So this is Sin right here as a primer. And then back here, I have the Urban Decay Velvetizer Mix-In Medium. I haven't tried that yet, I wanna try it out. And then this came in this morning from Ofra. It's their new magnetic palette. This highlighter came with it. And then this drawer right here is just the Urban Decay Naked Palettes, like one, two, three, smoky electric palette. You guys remember when this came out? Such fun colors. And then I have over here the Shade and Light Eye Palette from um, Kat Von D. Here I have my liquid liners. These are the Too Faced liquid liners. The packaging is so adorable on these. And then these are the Urban Decay Razor Sharp liners. And then over here I have the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust eyeshadows. And they're mixed in with the color tattoo from Maybelline. Absolute just came out with these pastel liquid liners, which I think are really pretty. So I want to try those guys out. Here I have some more liquid liners. These are different brands. I have L'Oreal, Blink, Hourglass, um, Tarte. These Tarte liners are so, so good. They're super black. These are liners as well. And in the last drawer, I have different liners. 
in here. Still gotta figure out what to put here. And then down here I have some Alex drawers. And then I used to store my makeup in here, really sloppy actually. But now um, that I have these organizers, it's just so much easier to use those. Like everything that I get from e.l.f. I put in here. And the rest of these drawers are pretty empty. I'll go ahead and move on to this guy right here. This is going to be, I have one palette in here. Actually, I have three. So this right here is going to be for new palettes that have came in that I want to try. This is one of the very, very new ones that are not even out yet. It's the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. Actually, I had a shoot with them on this and ooh, it's so exciting. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Back here, I have the new Urban Decay Shape Shifter, a light medium one, and then the darker tone one back here. They just have powders right here that you can contour with, highlight, and then they have creams on the other side. Right here are the new Dose of Color highlights that just came in and they are so, so gorgeous. So yeah, that's one swatched on my hand. They are so bright, beautiful. I love them so much. They're definitely going to give you that Instagram kind of highlight. And then back here, I just have some brushes in this cup that says Mornings Blow, but actually mornings are my favorite part of the day. Right down here, I have all my foundations. The only thing about these is that if you pull it too forward, it will all come out. So be careful with that if you decide to get them. Actually, I had my cousin help me with a lot of this. So she sectioned them off for me. So I have some of the Tarte foundations right here. This is the Amazonian Clay foundation that I really like. They're up there in one of my top fave full coverage foundations. And then over here I have EX1. Here I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is my number one favorite full coverage foundation. Some L'Oreal. Kat Von D foundations. And then right here I have some Marc Jacobs foundations. These are the Hourglass foundation sticks. This is a good on the go full coverage foundation right here. Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundations. These are the Ultra HD from Makeup Forever. And then on this back area I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating foundations. Milani Conceal and Perfect foundations, which are really good full coverage drugstore. The All Nighter Waterproof Foundation, Anastasia Foundation Stick, the NYX Total Control Foundation. This is actually a sweater drawer, so it's so deep. That's why I like putting my foundations here. And these dividers right here, you buy them separately, and you can use them to, you know, help organize your collection. And then down here, I have a second foundation drawer. Working our way down, these are all my powders. We have the Urban Decay powders that I was actually using for like two years straight. And then I finally got myself to use other powders. So I have the Hello Flawless powders right here from Benefit. These are the Photo Balm powders from The Balm. And then back here we have some Tarte, Kat Von D, Bare Minerals powders, a, pun a ton of them. These guys right here from Tarte. Maybelline, the Fit Me powders. We have my blushes and I have two things of blushes. I have a lot of blushes. I love the tart blushes they're all right here i have i probably have every one because i mean they send them to me and i'm obsessed with them so um these are all the tart blushes we have some of the mark jacobs blushes right here they're super velvety i love the way these feel this is what it looks like I have some from the balm and they come in these cute little packages some of them even look like magazines Really cute, like this one in stain. A bunch of color pop right here. Squid blushes from NARS. L'Oreal fallible paint blushes. And then these guys are all from Benefit. This is the new California blush, which is really, really pretty. And they smell really good too. They have Sugar Balm, Dallas. These are all the Kylie blushes right here. They're super sleek and simple. My next blush box, I have my glosses and I have another box of glosses, but this is the biggest one that I have. Here we go. The Kylie collection's all right here. And she has, I have the Coco collection, it's just every collection. Smashbox and Lancome, the Tarte glossy lip paints mixed in with some of the Buxom. I have some Maybelline. Right below that, I have all of the Makeup Forever glosses, which are a ton. Like, this is so, so much. This whole section right here, it goes pretty deep. It's just one of the sweater drawers. It's a shirt drawer. I thought it was a sweater drawer. The sweater drawers are the big ones. Oh. I mean, this is a shirt drawer. It's a little bit shorter. So these are helping me out with filming the video and you just reminded me. So in this one right here, I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection. These are all the glosses. And then um, right here, I have the NARS 
Velvet Lip Glides, which they're not a gloss, they're not a lipstick, they're just like kind of in the middle. So I have them right here. The last row that I have on this row is primers, setting sprays, and moisturizers. They're from Decay ones. I have some Smashbox ones. And they're also mixed in with the um, some setting sprays. This is from Urban Decay, Hourglass, and Cover Effects Custom Infusion Drops. I like to use these in my drier foundations. So I have them here too. Just anything that's liquid or that's gonna prep your face is gonna be right here. So I have all that there. So now I'm gonna go up to the top where the lipsticks are. These are all the new lipsticks from Estee Lauder. I think they're really pretty looking, so I wanted to display them. And then right here, these are the MAC Retro Mattes, the liquid lipsticks. And then these right here are the from the Mariah Carey collection, from the Selena collection. These are all actually from the Shade Scent collection, the ones that came with perfumes. I have these drawers right here. These are the shoe drawers. So this one is the liquid lipsticks that I have. On this side, I have the Ofra liquid lipsticks, the Makeup Forever. Then I have some Dose of Color ones right here, Too Faced Melted lipsticks. I have the Ultra Matte liquid lip from ColourPop right here and then some of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Below that I have the Kylie liquid lips. These are all of the Kylie liquid lips. And then over to the side I have the Bobbi Brown. They're really cute. It's like a little crayon. And then over here I have the Stila, the M Cosmetics. The BH Cosmetics are right below those. Smashbox right here and then Maybelline's Vivid Matte. These are my pencil eyeliners and I have Marc Jacobs right here, these guys. And then I, on the side of that I have the Urban Decay ones, the Makeup Forever Aqua XLs. And this is a fur ball. It's next to the Lancome ones. Some ColourPop back here and some Jouer eyeliners. This is my mascara drawer and I have all the mascaras right here. Nothing is really organized to brand. It's just all the mascaras that I have. Okay, so now we're down here in the gel liners house. The Tarte gel liners in like every color. So pretty, I love this one. Um, the Kylie ones, oh, I only have, I think she's only come out with three or four. Color pop, these are my brows. So we have Benefit, some Groove Proof, Precisely My Brow, which is amazing. Tarte, Anastasia. Okay, so these guys are my glosses and I have all the MAC ones right here. Different collections, this is one of the latest collections that came out. And then on this side we have some lip toppers from Jouer. These are all the Lancome GC shakers right here. Tardis lip, glossy lip paint. Some Smashbox ones. Um, Sigma, and we have a random Marc Jacobs one over there. I don't have a collection of those, so that one's just chilling back there. Pencil eyeliners, LA Girl ones, Smashbox, Milani, and then right here I just have like MAC mixed in with Kylie and Estee Edit. So now we're gonna work our way back to the top. These are the paints, cream, and sticks, creme. And so up here, I have the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I have some of the L'Oreal Infallible Paint. This area is all dedicated to Jouer. This is all the lip creams. Back here is all ColourPop. Some more liquid lips, and we also have paints in here. So these are the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lips. Some of the Makeup Forever paints, the Tarte lip paints. These two guys are the newest ones, part of the Unicorn Collection. LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints and some Marc Jacobs Lip Creams. Now we're moving down to the setting powders. Laura Mercier ones, Kat Von D, LA Girl, Makeup Forever. Down here are my concealers. This is like, oh, this is heaven right here. These are all the Tarte Shape Tapes. My favorite concealer, everybody's favorite concealer. And then right here we have the NARS, or the soft matte concealers. I use these to kind of clean up my brows. Too Faced, some Becca's uh, Naked Skin, the Maybelline Master Conceals. This is a very good drugstore concealer. Some color correcting palettes. I have NYX over here on this side, and then Stila, Tarte, lip liners. And I'm gonna warn you guys, this is all mixed up. And I wanted to really organize this before I did this video, but I ran out of the shoe box organizers. So this is what it is. Just a bunch of different lippies. Got some Kylie lips, MAC, ColourPop, 
Makeup Forever Milani. This is my glitter drawer. And we have the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Just a few of the Urban Decay uh, glitter liners. Midnight Cowboy is my favorite. And then these two guys are the new ones from the TARDIS Pro Collection. And over here I have All Makeup Forever. The Balm Sex Pops. These are the sex pots. I think that's such a cute name. Over here I have the Violet Voss glitters. So these two next boxes are just extras that I don't have a big collection of. This right here is a compact holder from Impressions Vanity. These are some new bronzers that came out from LC Cosmetics, which are all mattes. I just got these in this morning, so this is a new fresh collection of the Too Faced bronzers. These are from Hourglass. I have an eyeshadow palette drawer, so I'm gonna open it up for you guys. So right here we have all the Urban Decay palettes through the Looking Glass palette, the Ultimate Basics palette, and then this is actually, I keep this one because this is the first Urban Decay palette I ever had, and it's super special to me. It's kind of beat up, has a broken mirror, but yeah. This was my first Urban Decay palette. This is kind of an emotional moment right now. We have some Sigma ones over here, Lorac, and Makeup Forever. So Weevo ones, these are the Tarte ones. I also have my Violet Voss, all my Violet Vosses down right there. All my single shadows. I still wanna figure out how to put this together so I can easily access every shadow. So all of this is ColourPop. These are all the Super Shock shadows. And then over here is the all the Maybelline single shadows. All my bronzers some NARS. These are the Hula bronzers, the uh, liquid one. This is a really good drugstore bronzer from Physicians Formula. These are the Benefit Hula bronzers right here. And then this one in the front is the new Hula Light. Over here we have some Too Faced, Tarte, my contours. And these are contour palettes. I have the Frankie Rose palette, the Kat Von D Shade and Light, the Tardis Pro Glow. These guys right here are foundation sticks, but they're darker shades, so I can use them as contour sticks. Now we're getting into the lipsticks. Makeup Forever, Too Faced. These Bite Beauty ones, you can actually get them on your lips, lick them, and they taste just like the name. So this is licorice, it will taste like licorice. Here we have the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and then back here I have all of the Maybelline lipsticks. This drawer right here, it's all my eyelashes. Lily lashes right here, which are my favorite, and now I have a new favorite. So Lily lashes and Huda Beauty. I just got Huda lashes in, and I just tried them for the first time and they're amazing. So these are also one of my favorite lashes. House of Lashes right here. And these are from Pure Cosmetics. Continuation of my eyelash collection. More lipsticks. So in this section right here, this is all of my MAC lipsticks. I have the bottoms facing up so I can see what color I'm picking out. And then over here I have some Kat Von D ones. And just below that, Smashbox. The Lip Tensity lipsticks from MAC. Some Marc Jacobs mixed in there. And then these are L'Oreal. On this side I have all Urban Decay. And then back here I have some Galani, which I don't hear a lot of people talk about, but they actually have really good lip products. More liquid lipsticks. I have two drawers of highlighters, so this is my first one right here. I have some of the MAC strobe creams back here. This is one of the new Benefit ones, the Dandelion Twinkle Tarte Liquid Highlighters. Urban Decay After Glow Highlighters. The one right above it is more powder highlight. This is my little Artist Couture collection over here. And then on this side, we have some Ofra Tarte Too Faced kind of mixed in there. The new Estee Lauder highlight. The Jouer ones, which are really, really nice. So many good highlights these days. We have the Too Faced ones that are really good too. The Prismatic ones. The MAC Extra Dimension ones are really good. Up here we have more eyeshadow palettes. So this is my little Kylie collection of palettes. Here we have some ColourPop, Stila, some Stila, and these are my Z palette. Last eyeshadow palette drawer. I have all of the Too Faced little tiny Too Faced palettes. This is the Natural Eyes, the Honey one. These two guys down here are the Dose of Color palettes, Baked Browns, the Marvelous Mauve. And then up here I have, right in this section, I have all the Anastasia palettes, some of the Too Faced palettes, the Harouche Collab, Tartlet, and the Tartlet in Bloom, Graveyard Girl. And that is it for the palettes. Now moving up to this spot right here, I have some of the new primers and sprays, 
these. These are the new Tarte clay sticks. These are my new perfumes. This is from Urban Decay. Fresh summer scent to it. And I also have some new Estee Lauder perfumes. This is from Erin. It's the Mediterranean Honeysuckle. It just smells amazing. Right here, I have a really interesting new primer. You'll see why next week. It's in one of my videos. It's a very interesting glue-like primer. These two guys are so cute. They're the Eggies cases. They hold any beauty sponge and beauty blenders. They're perfect for travel. This is the new MAC Coconut Fix Plus. The new Too Faced Coconut Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. These guys right here, they're the same thing. This is the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray, which works so beautifully. It sprays out like a fine mist. So it feels really good on the skin. Holy Grail Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. And then this section right here is just new bronzers and highlighters. This is the new bronzer from Marc Jacobs. It's really nice. And then this is the new bronzer from Estee Lauder. Back here I have some of the Cover Effects Enhancer Drops. I also have the Violet Boss Rose Gold highlighter palette which is beautiful over on this side I have like some lipsticks that I really like so these are my YSL lipsticks I have this really cool gloss I think it's a gloss it's so pretty I use it I feel like I shouldn't use it because it's so pretty and then over here I have some YSL glosses these two are from Dior and then all of these beautiful lipsticks are from Tarte they're from their rainforest collection I think this packaging is so gorgeous it just reminds me of the sea and then right back here I have all the nudes my kind of nudes these are from Maybelline here I have some dose of color lipsticks Tatcha lipstick packaging is gorgeous and the color is really pretty also the shape of the lipstick is really interesting it looks like a diamond the last lipstick over is from MAC this is part of that collection this is like an everyday color mix this with some strip down and you got yourself the perfect nude lip thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I definitely am very excited that I finally made this I hope you guys are excited as I am if you want to check out some other videos of mine they will be over to the side for you before I let you go I want you to know that I love you you're beautiful and say hi to somebody new you never know you might make their day that's pretty much it I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye Dolly